Good morning, Carolina. I'm Taylor Yakowenko. As people around the world mourn the death of boxing legend Muhammad Ali, a North Carolina native is also remembering his friend. Former WBA heavyweight champion James Bonecrusher Smith says his friend Muhammad Ali will surely be missed. Smith, who won the title in 1986, never fought Ali, but got to know him well from his frequent visits to North Carolina. He describes Ali as being a quiet man who could, with the flip of a switch, entertain a crowd. Crowd. Smith says he'll remember Ali as a man who stood up for what he believed in and paved the way for future boxers. He was, he's going to be sorely missed. Uh, I missed him already and he just died. Smith says Ali was a fan and spectator at several of his fights. And this week is Rip Current Awareness Week. There have already been two reported deaths in the ocean in our area in just the last month. To be safe, lifeguards advise you listen to warnings from emergency rescue officials. They also say to check in throughout the day to make sure the water is still safe for swimming because danger levels can change. Now let's send it over to Gabrielle Diebler for a good morning, Gabrielle. Good morning. It's a little bit of a dreary morning outside for our Monday, looking at a few of those isolated showers. Temperature is already in the upper 70s. We're at 80 degrees in Southport. It's also quite humid outside, so it's not really feeling too terribly comfortable. We have a cold front to our west, keeping us nice and unsettled. We're in this nice southwesterly flow, pushing in a lot of that moisture, a lot of tropical moisture from what is now Tropical Storm Colin. This storm will pull up towards the Florida as we head towards uh, this afternoon and evening and then push through our area quite quickly through tomorrow. So we'll be looking at scattered showers, thunderstorms possible late tonight through our Tuesday morning before we start to dry out on Wednesday. Unfortunately, once we start to dry out, we'll dry out very quickly. Wednesday is looking like a fantastic day. But tonight, headed through tomorrow morning, make sure you watch out looking at some heavy downpours possible from that. And then we have beautiful weather to end the week.